everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video, and I am super excited about this video, number one, numero uno, because I'm filming in a different location. And I do want to apologize for the glare that you see from my ring light, but I don't know how to get that like out of there, okay? So if you guys have any tips or any pointers that you wanna give me, let your girl know, all right? And secondly, I'm excited. Actually, I think I'm excited for like three things, really. So the second thing I'm excited for is it's a tag video. And I love tag videos, especially when I get to share like important information. Well, important to me, like vital information for me, okay? So whenever I get to share information with you guys, like I am super stoked. And the third reason I'm happy, because I'm happy, clap along if you feel. <laughs> no, but the other reason that I'm happy is because my setup is a little bit different. So if you see empty spaces here, there, there, and then it looks a little, it looks more empty than it really is, but listen, I just reorganized this whole area and my beauty blenders that are way up there are usually down here and I'm a little sad about that actually. So I know this video is not about like my makeup organization and whatnot, but I want you to know that a video is forthcoming and I also show you guys like my makeup collection. Well, on this side of my room that is. If that video is not up before this video, then stay tuned, all right? So now let's get into this ride or die tag. When I think about ride or die, I think about, you know, my ace coon boom, Thelma and Louise, Bonnie and Clyde, you get what I'm saying? So when I think about a ride or die product, it is a product that is like going with me everywhere. It's a must have. So I saw this tag first by Jaclyn Hill and then I saw like a bunch of people do it and I'm like, you know what? I mean, a lot of people are asking me for a video about like my favorite things. So I'm like, why not do the ride or die tag? Plus it sounds like hashtag thug life. So I was like, like that's kind of cool. And honestly, if I was not a blogger and kind of like to change my looks up a little bit to show, you know, the different looks that I can do and whatnot. And so I don't look the same in every video. I will probably rock this like every time I'm going somewhere, like every day, like seriously. I wanted to make this video a little different because you know how I always say that I could show you better than I can tell you. So I wanted to show you the products as I'm talking to you about them because I really needed to just sit here and just talk to y'all, like have a little heart to heart because I need y'all to know that the love for these products is so real, I can't even explain it. So we're just gonna start off with the items in the order that I would do my face, which is another reason I wanted to show you as well so I wouldn't leave anything out, you know what I mean? So first, we start off with the brows and I use my ColourPop Bangin' Brunette Pencil and I sculpt it like I outlined the top and I outlined the bottom. If you follow me on Snap, you already saw it. And then I take my NYX Chocolate Brow Pencil, I think it's called Micro Brow, and then I fill it in. And then after that, I take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn and then I scope the bottom of my brow. But I do not like to use the same color underneath my brow on the top because sometimes, I mean, if you just like, if you slip a little bit on that blending, when you take pictures, everybody gonna know, okay? So I do not use this for the top of my brows. I go to my e.l.f. foundation palette and you guys are totally gonna be able to know which one I use. Oops. <laughs> so this is the one that I use right here, but I think that this is the medium deep palette. And so this is the color I use for the top because it's more like my skin tone. So I use that to scope the top out, blend it out real, real good and then we have brows. So I forgot to mention that while I'm going through the whole brow process, I actually use this Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer and I put that on my lid and I do not care if I'm doing an eyeshadow look or if I'm not rocking any eyeshadow at all, I always go on with a primer. So after we have the brows done, I always need to mute out the discoloration on the top of my lids. This is whether I'm wearing shadow or not. So I go into the Sephora Gel Serum Concealer in the color Dolce de Leche, and I put that all over my lid, blend that out. I still have my coupon on here, like that's embarrassing. But anyway, um, it's been on here for like months. I, like I hit pan and it's still on there. But then I go into my Black Radiance Powder, and this is in the color Golden Cashews. Now I do, I mean, this is a ride or die because I love the way that it goes on top of my lids. But if I like, if they never sold this again, I could always use my BH Cosmetics powder and go on top. But for some reason, this gives it like this awesome look. Like I just, I just love it. I don't know. I've been doing it ever since I got it. So 
black radiance powder golden cashews and sometimes i set my makeup with it too this is when i go into the shadows and i know that people were saying to name a ride or die palette and not necessarily single eyeshadows but honestly if i were to talk about an eyeshadow palette it would not really be my ride or die so i had to keep it all the way real and this is my ride or die palette right here and i'm gonna tell you why there's some mac shadows up here at the top actually i think from here to here are all mac shadows and then the rest are all makeup geek shadows i mean y'all know the main two reasons that i love this palette right cocoa bear and peach smoothie i mean come on those are those shadows I use when I'm doing a very, very subtle look like this and when I'm doing like a dramatic or whatever. Like Peach Smoothie is almost always my highlight. Y'all know that. And Cocoa Bear is almost always my transition color, okay? So you can tell which ones they are, right? Peach Smoothie, Cocoa Bear. But in the event that I wanted to make my transition a little lighter, I always have my saddle right there by MAC because that's the next color I go to. And then when I want to step up my neutral look just a little bit and deepen up my outer V, like I just did a video too about that. I will go into Americano by Makeup Geek or Embark by MAC. And then sometimes I put a little mocha in that lash line, but then check it out. If I want to do like a daytime smoky eye, I will not only do Americano or mocha, but I will also use the Cherry Cola or I will use Bitten. And then if you want to add a little color, you got that. Then if you want to do a liner or deepen up your outer V a little more, you got Corrupt. I mean, it's just... I, this is just my palette. I can't, I, yeah, this is, this is my palette right here. Just saying, but I need to talk about my lashes and I need to talk about eyeliners. If I'm going to rock a liner, I do have two, you guys, because like, I, I'll explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. But first lashes, Coco Misha lashes, you guys, I've been rocking these for months. I don't need, or maybe it's been like a year now. I don't know, but I feel like I can rock like a natural look with these lashes. I feel like I can rock a dramatic look with these lashes and a lot of times when I do a makeup look people are like what are those lashes you forgot to mention the lashes these are Coco Misha lashes I do not have to cut these lashes at all the band is pretty light so I don't struggle with getting it on like it's not so thick that it's like moving all around perfect so what I always use to put on my lashes is the duo lash glue and I like the dark tone not saying that this is like the the best of all of the lash glues that there is but this is the one that works the best out of all the ones that i've tried but i have not tried them all and now on to the liner because y'all know that i love my wing liner like no liner until i found this one no liner has done me like this kat von d trooper liner most of my videos when you guys see me rocking a liner unless i'm trying something new it is the Trooper Liner by Kat Von D. And I think this baby runs about 18 bucks. But listen, I recently tried this Milani liner. This is the Milani Stay Put Matte 17 Hour Wear Liquid Liner. That's what I have on today. I love this. I just wish they had it in pen form. So, I mean, it's only right that I tell y'all about this because this has been my ride or die for so long. But it's only right that I tell you about this too, because like, I think she's like, move over bacon, here comes the beef. So these two items are pretty much what sets up like my whole face, or it's like the foundation of my foundation, get it? Now this is new to me, y'all. Y'all know I just did a video like a few months ago. But the reason that I would have to go with the Becca primer is because this is something so far, I think that I can use year round, like sparingly maybe in the winter, cause I don't know, I haven't used it in the winter yet, but I figured I would pick a ride or die that holds up in the summer. You feel me? Not only does it perfect your pores, but it mattifies your skin and it helps keep the oil at bay. Okay. And so after I go in with my primer, I always correct. Now you guys, if you have been following me for any length of time, you guys know that I have used so many different color correctors I have, and there's a lot of them that I love. I do, but I always go back to my peach luster by Mac. Like I've been using this ever since I started YouTube and that's going on four years. So peach luster by Mac is my Definite like holy grail. Matter of fact, I have a backup because I will not be caught slipping again. After I do that, that is when we go into the foundation, right? So y'all know, I told y'all, this 
is the foundation that I know is going to do me right every time. That is going to be perfect every time. I've never had to buy a different shade and I've worn this winter, spring, summer, fall. I'm just saying. This is in the shade Spice 25, but this is my holy grail, my number one. Like if I had no other foundation ever, like I would be fine. I would be happy. I would be cool. On to the concealer. You guys know that I have tried many, many concealers. There are quite a few concealers that I really do like, but nothing, when I say nothing, nothing beats my Maybelline Better Skin. Matter of fact, I think it says Super Stay. Yes, Super Stay Concealer. And this is in the color Deep. And I'm a little saddened that this is the deepest color that they have. I really want you guys to be able to experience this Maybelline Better Skin Concealer because it's the bomb.com. And the thing that I like about it the most is that it is so creamy. It is super blendable and it stays all day. It still does crease on me because all concealers do crease on me eventually, but I feel like this is the one that lasts the most. And now to set my under eye concealer, I use my Ben Nye Banana Powder. And I was using Topaz for a long time, but then I started using Banana again and I was like, why was I like cheating on you? Like, I, yeah, I had to go back to that banana because it gives you that highlight that, you know, like right now, like you see, it's kind of brightened. I really like it. Now, this does not mean that I don't like the other powders. And the reason that I think I really, really love Ben Nye is because it's theatrical makeup. So it is made to withstand lighting and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like heat, sweat, it's supposed to last for hours. So I think that's why I like it so much. Now, as for my face powders, I used to use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish as a setting powder. Then I was using the L'Oreal True Match and I totally love that. But I started using this BH Cosmetics powder two and a half years ago or something like that. I don't know, but I really, really love this powder. I love the way it lasts. I don't really like it when I wear it all by itself. I'm more so like it when I wear it on top of foundation. It just kind of seals it in real good. And it works really, really, really good with this Clinique foundation. So this has been my holy grail. And I think this is like my third pack, I think. Now to contour. I have to pull this baby out. Now I have been using a lot of contour powders. I've been using the BH Cosmetics contour. I've been using a whole lot. If you guys seen my recent videos, I've been using a lot of different powders, but when we talking ride or die, when we talking Holy Grail, when we talking to something you'll always run back to, something you know works, like one item that you just kind of take wherever you go, CoverGirl Queen Bronzer Q120. You see how I know that? Because it's the real deal. And as for blush, you guys, I've had my share of blushes. I've had my share of blushes. <laughs> no, but ever since I got introduced to this Becca blush, y'all, I like, I use this. There's not a week that goes by that I do not use this blush copper blush. I will use this on days that I do not even rock a highlighter, okay? I'm going to back that thing up one more time. So I need to mention these liners, okay? Whenever I rock liners like this with a nude in the waterline and then a little liner underneath, I always go for the ColourPop liners. I used to use other ones, but ever since I started using the ColourPop ones, I'm super duper addicted because they are tiny. Like the pencils are small enough for you to get like right in the waterline where you want to get. It's almost like a straight shot when you use these small ones. Like it fits right in, you know what I mean? It like it fits like a glove. And then this one right here is Call Me. And then I put that in the lash line, like right underneath where I put Honey Dude. I didn't even tell you the name. Honey Dude, Call Me. If I had to pick one mascara like ever, I would go with the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara because I am a part of the Itty Bitty Lash Committee and this mascara gets me right. Onto the highlight, then we're gonna talk about lip setting spray and we are wrapping it up. I really struggle with this y'all. I have so many that I love. And then like my OG OG one is Max Whisper of Guilt, but it's like limited edition. So I don't wanna tell y'all about it because it's like, they don't make it anymore, right? I just went with this one on Ofra because I feel like it's just, it's the perfect gold highlight and it is like it is packed with a punch. I don't even know what to say. It packs a punch. That's what I'm rocking today. It's like you can do it softly or you can layer it on. And I kind of went in between, like I was in the middle today. And I also picked this because 
it has different colors. You can swirl it, which I don't know, my OCD won't let me swirl, okay? <laughs> but you can swirl it or you can use different colors. But there are other ones that I really like too. So I just had to like, it was almost like an any, mini, money mo type situation. I just, I had to go with one. And this is the one I went with. But if I had to pick one lippy to rock all the time, this is what it would be because I feel like if I'm wearing like a dramatic eye or if I want to kind of deepen up my neutral eye, give it a little pop, I can rock this lippy. If I want to wear a look something like this, oh, and sorry y'all, I'm not wearing it today because I wanted to try this new lippy out, you know what I mean? But if I wanted to rock a look like this where it's just like super natural, um, minus the little wing liner, I would rock this. But this right here, you could tell, you could tell, you could tell it's a love thing, right? We got a love thing going on. This is ColourPop's Lippy Pencil in Pitch. And I do have a backup because it's real over here and I didn't want to run out. It's probably been a little abused, but Pitch Liner. And then this is ColourPop Tulips and I do have a backup of this as well because y'all, since I'm not wearing it, I am going to swatch it. But it's a satin lippy, which means that it has somewhat... It looks like it could be a matte, but it does not feel matte at all. It's very, very comfortable. So it has my heart. Look at that. You guys have seen me with this on, on Snapchat so many times. When I went to Texas, I took this lippy like, and that was way back in April and I'm still rocking it. So it's real over here. The final thing that I am going to talk about is the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. And this is for like the bridal edition, right? So it's really supposed to make your makeup stay in place. Now, I really want to try the oil control one. I have not tried that yet. But the thing that I love about this the most, not that there aren't other setting sprays out there that are great, because I do have some great ones that I've tried. But this baby, the mist is so fine, y'all. It is like, oh my gosh, like... I've used other setting sprays where when you spray them on your face, you have to take a brush and then you have to kind of like make sure you blend it out because you'll have like all these little droplets on your face. With this, I never, ever, ever, ever have to do that. So that is it for my ride or die products. I mean, cruising down the street. No, I'm just kidding. These items will like have you looking flawless. I'm just saying. I had this makeup on for hours and I did like, I reorganized my whole room and I got hot and felt like I was sweating and all that. And we're still flawless. So this stuff is my ride or die stuff for a reason. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys would like to see a video on like maybe drugstore favorites or something like that, let me know. Leave it in the comment section. Thumbs up. If you're not a part of the family, join the family. And you guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye.